be discussing my take for the uh, outlook for the Nigerian economy in 2020 in the context of Nigeria, but especially in the context of you know, the ongoing debate about a possible recession and how that's likely to impact Nigeria. And I'm also going to be focusing on what I think corporates should be doing in the event that such a recession does in fact occur. So what is the context of this uh, discussion uh, on a possible global recession? Well, the IMF in the past couple of months leading to uh, December 2019 have reversed downwards their outlook for global economic growth from as high as 3.9% at the beginning of the year to as low as 3% as we speak now. And this compares to about 4.5% from last year. You know, so now, again, we notice that uh, a number of uh, major economies in Europe, in the Eurozone, in the UK, in Germany, in China, in Japan, have been reduced, have been, the growth has been slowing down for some time now. But we also notice that these economies have been trying to stimulate their uh, economy by reducing interest rates. You know? So if you put all of these things together, it suggests that these economies are mindful of the fact that there's likely going to be a recession and they're trying to hedge against it. If we go back to the, to the US, which is a major economy, and whose activities has a very you know, pervasive impact on what goes on around the globe, the economy of the United States has been growing strongly in the past 10 years. The capital markets have been on a 10-year bull run, which is about the longest one they've had in recent memory. We also noticed that job growth rate has been increasing. But be that as it may, the Federal Reserve have also found the need to reduce exchange uh, interest rate in a bit to ensure that this growth continues to, to tick over. But then if you juxtapose that against recent findings by a survey conducted by the National Association for uh, Business Economics, they, in a recent survey which uh, was released just a couple of weeks ago, they suggest that there is a 50% likelihood that there will be no recession in 2020 and that the likelihood of a recession even in the next 18 uh, months in the US is fairly slim. But then again, we also noticed that there are ongoing uncertainties in the global economy. You know, for example, we have the ongoing trade war with, uh, between the U.S. And, and China. And a number of tariffs are being proposed back and forth. Now, we should realize that the U.S. economy is predominantly an economy driven by consumption. And if this trade war leads to tariffs on consumption for the US, for, for, for U.S. consumers, this might trigger you know, a depression in their economy leading to a uh, recession on a global scale. Now, where does Nigeria come into this picture? The two factors that tend to trigger a recession in Nigeria is oil shocks and exchange rate shocks. Given the fact that our economy pretty much you know, drives, you know, drives on our sale of, of crude oil. And so any global externalities, any global factors from outside of the economy that impacts on the price of you know, crude oil tends to depress our economy because falling on that is also a depression or a devaluation of our, of our exchange rate. And when that happens, you know, a uh, recession might, might kick in. So if we take all of this and ask ourselves what have the regulators in the economy been doing, for example, the CDN recently instructed banks to increase their loan to deposit ratio from 60% to 65%. Again, this would suggest that they are trying to hedge against the possible decline in the Nigerian economy. We also bear in mind that the IMF has predicted that if there is as much as a 20%, 25% decline in the price of oil in the market, that brings oil price down to about the $50 per barrel margin, that could trigger you know, a recession in Nigeria, and the risk of that is quite, you know, is, is, is quite evident. We also notice that our economy is still trying to shake off, you know, the impact of the last uh, recession that we just came out of in 2016. And right now, the good forecast for our economy is just about 2.1 percent, on the back of the fact that our population is still growing at 2.63 percent. So, if we put all of those things together, our economy still remains very vulnerable. And the question we should be asking ourselves is, what should corporates be doing in the event that all these factors crystallize to creating you know, a recession in 2020? Well, I take the position that uh, it's better for you to know how to build an ark than for you to predict when it's going to rain. 
This is again the, the mindset of people like Warren Buffett. What this simply means is that it's better to be able to prepare for you know, a possible recession than be able to predict accurately when the recession will come. So the question then is what should corporates be doing in 2020? Well, the first thing I would advise corporates to do is to make their balance sheets more resilient and make themselves more financially flexible. What do we mean? If companies have a lot of debt on their balance sheet, there's a time to begin to pay down this debt. If companies have foreign exchange exposures on their balance sheet, there's also the time to begin to hedge against you know, a possible devaluation in our currency, either by uh, engaging in natural hedges, which means trying to look for areas of being able to export products to so you can earn foreign exchange that balances your requirements to pay out foreign exchange in servicing your debt. Another thing that companies should try to do is to make their operations more efficient, leaner, more efficient. Invest in what we call income generating assets, rather than just assets that do not add to the capacity of the business to generate cash flows. And then you should, the business should be doing at this point in time is to design business models, product services, engagements with their consumers that makes them indispensable to these consumers. The impact of this is that look, when a recession does come, the customer still find the need to engage with you such that you are you will continue to be in in business if, if companies do things of this nature another thing that companies can do is to begin to have a cash reserve because one of the uh, impacts of recession is companies are not able to generate you know cash flows from their businesses and also they have limited access to credit from creditors because people are not willing to lend during a recession. So companies should begin to try find ways of having a cash reserve, if you like, that can tie them through any possible recession. When companies do things of this nature, then whether or not this recession does set in, they are pretty much in a good situation to be able to you know, deal with the adverse impact of that likelihood.